There are robots at Robbins. The Air Force Base has enlisted 36 artificial intelligence robots to help get a few tasks done. Kalisha Moore got a chance to take a look at those systems today and she shows you how it all works. This is a multi-million dollar robot custom designed just for preparing radomes, better known as the nose cone on a fighter jet here on Robbins Air Force Base. There's a digital twin of the robot and the, and the radome on the screen. It allows the operator to interact with the robot very intuitively. So the robot does exactly what they tell it to do and the robot shows them what it's gonna do using the augmented reality projection. Shane Groves is the air logistics complex expert on robotics and automation and says they brought in the robots as a test and soon they'll add two more. In this process, each cone needs a certain amount of sanding. Done by hand, the work could take hours. With bots capable of sanding, removing, and adding paint to base equipment, he says it helps improve quality and return equipment faster. The robot will do a much, a much more consistent job, and it, will, it doesn't have so, shoulder and elbow and wrist injuries to contend with. There's no ergonomic uh, damage to the robot. The systems aren't putting anyone out of work. Instead, they're supplying benefits everyone can cash in on. The ultimate goal is to have the, have the workers that were doing this job manually migrate to, to running these robotic systems. So we're trying to, to grow their skills. We're trying to make sure they have the training they need to run these systems and, and be productive. In Warner Robins, Kalisha Moore, 13 WMAZ News. Robbins currently leads the entire Department of Defense in the use of robotic systems. Grove says they plan to double the number of robots over the next five years and the number of tasks they can handle, which would cost them multi-millions in dollars. Robot manufacturing is a new concept for parts of the manufacturing industry or a newer concept, but the technology has actually been around for decades. The first industrial robot came to life back in 1961. And uh, Stas Ista study found project demand for advanced robots rose to 3.7 billion dollars in 2021 not until march of 2022 did the department of defense send out guidance about using robots to manufacture weapon systems they advise agencies to integrate robotic work into the manufacturing supply chain some downsides to robotic production include increased safety risks and high cost of initial implementation